Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading, you versus them, for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you guys right down the middle. At any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on, and I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy coming towards you in the next couple of weeks. Also, my dearest Geminis, you guys have been killing it on my channel, showing me so much love and support. So thank you so much. Um, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm overwhelmed, truthfully, by my Gemini support out there. So sending you guys lots and lots of love and light. All right, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Geminis regarding the person you're romantically, energetically linked to. All right, so we have the crone of water, which is the king of cups. So you could be a Gemini Cancer cusp, or you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You're viewing your person as the six of air. So hmm, maybe they haven't moved on or that they're coming back around. And you're viewing the connection as the empress in reverse. So for some of you, this is a third party situation. Um, Taurus and Libra energy is strong. But I also feel like you're not seeing this connection grow um, the way that, um, you know, the way that you would like to or that it's it's on hold or stuck right now. Yeah, your person, the world, your person could be traveling to see you. They could be at a distance, a different city, state, country even. Um, but they definitely feel there's unfinished business with you. They want to heal things with you, Gemini, the three of air in reverse. They have regrets, remorse. And they see the connection as the five of fire in reverse. So many of you, they see you as a soulmate. Um, they see you as an energy or a person that they would like to be in a higher level of commitment with, move in, get married, have kids, whatever that means, um, or just be in some sort of committed relationship with you. They want to heal things. Now, what's going on between you guys, we have the Maiden of Air. Beautiful. So this person's going to come rushing towards you, Gemini. They might even just show up at your house or at your job, or they're going to come like, <laughs> I don't know how this would be, but they said crashing into your DMs. We have the Crone of Earth. Queen, this is the King of Pentacles. They want it all with you, Gemini. They want stability. They want a house, a home, a family, a committed relationship. They see you as a, um, you know, as their power couple. Wow. All right. And we see the lover's card in reverse. Okay. So for some of my Geminis, there is some sort of third party interference. Now, maybe this is somebody who has feelings for you and you're in another relationship. Um, for others of you, maybe they're in another relationship, but remember third party interference doesn't always have to be romantic rivals. It can be traditions, beliefs, a strict family. Um, it can be, you know, work schedule. For many of you, it may just be the distance. It could be the pandemic. It could be world events. And we see the Maiden of Water, the Knight of Cups. This person's coming in to make you a love offer, Gemini. They are absolutely coming in to make you a love offer. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. I wish, you know, I would stop the reading right here <laughs> if I could. Because, but I do have to, we do have to know what is this sort of energy. The lovers in reverse, Gemini energy in reverse, and the um, the empress in reverse. Both tell me there's a possibility that there's quite a big obstacle to overcome um, before you can get together. And like I said, it could be someone you dealt with who's never given up on you or always had strong feelings with for you. But maybe you've moved on or vice versa. So let's see. So you're in the King of Cups energy. You've got a love, a lot of love for this person. Clarified by the Knight of Cups. Hmm. So there's something here that I feel absolutely can be turned around between you. So whenever I see, you know, the same cards coming out, one in the upright, one in the reverse, it's a reminder that we can really change our, our circumstances. Um, and this relationship can absolutely shift and change. Um, some of you, you didn't see that this person was ready or able to make you some sort of commitment. For many of my Geminis out there, there's a lot of love for this person, um, but you're not so sure about committing to them for whatever reason. Maybe there's trust issues, maybe there's distance, maybe you have a lot of options, um, maybe you, you know, you're just not into or interested in somebody from your past. So you do see this person coming in, double six of swords. 
you know this person's coming back in. For many of you, maybe they have reached out and you're sitting here trying to decide like, you know, do I want to go down that road again? Can we really heal things? Is this what I want? Some of you, it may have been a while since you've talked to this person and you're not so sure if you're in alignment with them. You know, this could be somebody that even you chased at some point in time, Gemini, and, and you've done a lot of healing work. I love this and, and your heart chakra is open and you're ready for new and boom, this person comes back in. Um, but for, but you guys know that some sort of conflict needs to be resolved in order for you to move forward. Um, so let's see, you're seeing the connection as the Empress in reverse and the three of cups. Gemini, there's some sort of third party interference here. And I'm feeling a lot of my gems out there. You guys have moved on from this person. This can also be a card of, you know what? I'm having fun. I'm flirting. I'm dating. You know, you're showing up as the Knight of Cups in reverse. So it's not that you don't want to make a commitment, but maybe you just don't want to rush into anything. I feel a lot of you have gotten, it's taken some time for you to get to this point where you're open, where you feel free, where you're healed, where you're having fun. You're, you've built a life for yourself that's like fun and complete without this person or without even romantic love. And so it's a hard sell to feel like maybe to go back to someone. Some of you may need more time to heal um, and just sort of to enjoy. I feel like enjoy the life that you've created for yourself because I do feel you've been working really hard towards your stability. Now, some of my Geminis, you have a choice and this is one of your options, okay? Um, for others of you, this person may have put you in a third party situation or chose someone or something over you. Maybe they chose to work abroad or they chose, you know, they, they moved away for whatever reason. And you're just, I feel that there's some sort of trust issues here. So this person recognizes there's distance between you and them, but they feel like there's still unfinished business. Nine of Pentacles. Your person is single. Okay. So that's what I'm getting. They, I feel your person is single. So even if, even if you think they're in a relationship here, the nine of pentacles, this person is, is single. Um, I know that's a weird message, but if like last time you talked to them, they were in a connection, I don't think they are anymore. Um, I also feel this person's been, they're, they're independent. Um, they've been working on themselves as well. So it's like, they're also looking out and saying, you know what, I've got everything I need. They might've bought a home. Maybe their business is where they want it to be, or they got a, they have that stability. And now they're looking for someone to share their life with. And they feel that person is you, the three of air. They know they hurt you or they disappointed you, but they want to heal this. And we see the three of pentacles in reverse. But Gemini's, it feels like they're seeing you as the one that doesn't want to commit. Maybe that's just their fears that they're projecting. Okay, it doesn't have to be the case. And remember, this is not necessarily the truth, but it's how they're viewing you. And so they're seeing you as not cooperating or maybe not on the same page. Like I said, some of my Gemini's, you don't want to be in a long distance relationship or you don't want to go back to an ex or you want to be, you know, have fun, flirt, date, and you've got a lot of options and you may be enjoying that. Um, for some of you, you may be very, very, very busy working on your career and up leveling. So they may see that like work is getting in the way. Um, you may not be giving a whole lot of precedence to love and relationships or being in a serious commitment. Um, they see you as, wow, chariot energy. They're coming. This person's going to show up, Gemini. You might not, you might have even forgotten about this person. <laughs> All right. But this person is coming towards you. I think they're going to show up at work, at your house. They're going to, you're going to run into this person. Maybe they know where you like to like have lunch or have coffee or where you go for drinks with work friends or what have you. They might even be contacting your friends and your family. They're going to come in and try to surprise you. That's what I'm getting. Um, they want to heal this and they're willing to do the work. For some of you, they're moving back into your town or moving back to where, where you live. All right. So we see Maiden of Air, Knight of Swords. This person's rushing towards you. They've made up their mind. Gemini, this person, what have you done to them? They've, they're like, they've got it so bad for you. Seven of Pentacles to me. This can be that there are a lot of, there were or have been a lot of delays and frustrations to you guys getting together or this person coming towards you or making some sort of decision. But the seven of pentacles in reverse is telling me that the wait is over. This person's coming. They don't want to wait anymore. They can't control it. They can't contain themselves. And we see that with the chariot energy, Cancerian energy. 
and we see the crone of earth and the king of wands but gemini some of you i feel like you're so busy that i'm that you're not so sure that you we want to make a commitment here because this is not going to be some sort of casual relationship. And so just remember, we're all on different timelines. All of our journeys are different. And the right person is not going to rush you, is going to hold space for you. And I do feel this person is pretty much in this energy of... Um, They'll, you know, they'll wait for you. That's what I'm getting, but they can't wait any longer to tell you how they feel or to know what your deal is, um, to see if you're with anybody. So the King of Wands in reverse, though, does tell me it's possible there was some sort of third party action in the past between you and this person. And just remember, third parties can definitely be romantic rivals, but it can also be work. It can be distance. It can be family. So I do feel that that's why you have some cause cause for hesitation here the lovers in reverse and the nine of wands for some of you this person is giving it all up gemini to come towards you i hope i didn't call you sagittarius i kind of feel like i did if i did i do apologize i know i'm in the gemini reading um but wow i just see this person they can't they can't hold back anymore they've been beat up they really regret any decision that took them away from you and i feel that they're coming in to make amends we see the Hierophant card in reverse. You guys could be very different from one another. Taurus energy. This could be somebody that you were in a higher level of commitment with. Some of you, this person's getting a divorce or they're leaving somebody to come towards you. For others of you, they're hoping you're going to leave someone or something for them. I mean, they've got it bad, Gemini. I don't really know how else to put it. Um, this person knows there are obstacles. They know that there's some pretty tough ground to cover in order to, I'm hearing to make you theirs, but it doesn't sound like in a creepy stalker way or distorted masculine way. It just, they, they're, they really, they want you. They want you bad and they want to heal things and they're coming in. They're coming in fast and furious. That's what I'm getting. The Hierophant does indicate though that family, um, you know, fitting in with one another's friends and family may have been an issue in the past or religions, traditions, beliefs, codes of conduct. But I also feel the Hierophant in reverse is somebody who's breaking out of an old mold or, you know, a strict way of living or believing because they do not want to lose this opportunity with you. And for many of you, they have already. And they're in, you may have not have talked to this person from, you know, seven to nine weeks, seven to, you know, seven to nine months even. Um, but they're, they're ready. It's like they've been, they're ready to let down their, their guard. Nine of wands, they've been hurt. Some of you, they may be being discharged from the military or they're relocating. It doesn't have to be military though. I always feel like, um, yeah, they had like a contract overseas or elsewhere. That's not going to be for all of you. All right. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Gemini's. So second chance. Yeah, this person, someone wants the opportunity to prove themselves. Absolutely. I can't make this stuff up, Gemini. Your person wants a second chance and timing. There's something else at play right now and more time is needed. So with the seven of pentacles, divine timing has been at work. Your person's message or energy is boundaries. Overstepping in a situation has led to an imbalance of personal power. Take your power back. Okay. Okay. So I am getting strong Aries Emperor energy off of this person, um, but it doesn't have to be. And remember, my readings are not gender specific, but they do feel like they're sitting in more of a divine masculine energy. They may have been very boundary oriented in the past, either pushing you away or maybe they were crossing your boundaries. Um, but I do feel that with this nine of wands energy, they're they're coming in hot. They're coming in fast, um, but they are. I also feel like they're going to be very respectful of you. OK and family patterns to a degree we mimic what we observed growing up are those patterns healthy for you yeah and we see that with the hierophant for some of you your person i'm hearing has even been in therapy um or they've just been taking a look at patterned behavior that they don't want to continue in this connection with you and we get conviction don't be influenced by false beliefs and forced opinions stand in your truth yeah so this person they are going to come in and try to win you over gemini in a huge way but make your own decision because some of you if you're not ready you're not ready and remember the right person is going to wait for you or you know meet you halfway because I do feel that this person does kind of want to come in like a wrecking ball here or a bulldozer maybe they work in construction because i'm getting all these sort of um 
you know, or I'm giving you all these construction metaphors. That's so not going to be for all of you. Um, but yeah, just stand in your truth, Gemini. Speak the truth. If you're not healed, you're not ready for a connection, that's fine. If you don't trust them, tell them that too. Um, you know, it's a hard truth, but, um, you know, but speaking your truth and also being clear what you want right now. Do you want a committed relationship? Um, yeah, so mirror. So this is somebody who mirrors you in a big way. Um, re relationships reflect old wounds. I do feel this person has been reflecting on this connection and any wounding or that have been sort of blocking them from having a healthy connection. They're coming in. This is communication. Um, and they want to protect you. They want to protect this relationship, I'm getting really strong divine masculine energy off of them. Um, but they want to, yeah, this is like, you know, two birds of a feather. This person's forceful. They're strong. Um, they may be very strong in nature, like physically strong. Athletic is what I'm getting. If it's a male energy, I'm getting like that really strong Aries energy, like broad shoulders, like they're, they're physical. Although it doesn't have to be. I'm just, that's what they're showing me, that this person has been working on themselves. Um, and it could be that spiritual work that's sort of pumping them up. <laughs> All right, let's see. This person wants to do right by you. So Gemini, this person's also been looking at your photos. I feel you have been missing them as well. But I also feel you're ready to make new memories. And I feel like it took you a while to get to this place. So that could be a little bit of the hesitation that you're experiencing. And paradise. Wow. Happiness, expansion, joy. So Gemini, you're up leveling. You being in this energy is what's calling this person and many other people in. So remember that you have options. It's your decision if you want to give them a second chance. And for many of you, this person, you miss them too, and they make you really happy. Um, but for others of you, look, at I can't even make this up. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, having fun. So this is the energy that you're in. And a lot of you are going to be a little bit hesitant about giving that up because you've worked hard to get into this space. So you, you decide, you decide, but this person, they're coming in hot. They're coming in fast. They're coming in furious Gemini's. So I'm just letting you know ahead of time. All right. Let's see what advice we have for my dear gems out there. So illusions embrace the truth. Okay. So, a lot, and we see this mirror energy and she's up against a mirror. So this definitely is a strong, uh, maybe a mirrored soulmate. There's a lot that you've had to learn as a result of being with each other and being apart from one another. So it is important to not look through, you know, look at this person or the situation through rose colored glasses. Begin your new life. Yeah. Is that with this person or are you ready to move on? Leave them in the past. Oh, it's just such a strong message here. And vacation, take time for relaxation and adventure. So I'm getting a few messages here with paradise and vacation because I was going to say that either some of you met this person on vacation, some of you, you will meet this person or they come from, you know, a warm climate like a beachy area or that's their heritage, which could be many different places throughout the world. Um, some of you, you needed a break from this person to see things clearly um, and see and really get in check whether or not you want to be with them if they're your person. Um, release the power of fear. Don't be afraid to speak your peace, Gemini. And don't be afraid to reject them if that's what your heart is saying. Because you have this beautiful new beginning. You're definitely in this very up-leveling type energy. So whatever you decide, Gemini, do it with conviction and stand in your truth. I feel you could, you know, you guys are going to go 50-50 here about whether you want to get back with this person or not. This is a destined partnership. Wow, Sag got the same card twin flame. So a lot of you, this is your divine counterpart. Um, but also remember that, you know, we are everyone, someone's karmic and we always have karmics that put us on our true path. So if you feel like this is a situation you don't want to revisit, um, or, you know, that this is your karmic soulmate, trust that you have your true divine counterpart coming in. And for others of you, hands down, this is your, your soulmate. The decision is yours and boundaries. So we get two, oh, we get two confirmation cards here about the need for boundaries. This person may overstep, okay? And so speak, stand in your truth. Boundaries are going to be important because I feel like this person, they've made up their mind and they want to come rushing in or crashing in like I'm getting bull in a china shop. Maybe some of you, you're dealing with the Taurus with that bull imagery, um, but it doesn't have to be. 
but make sure that you're clear. And if you're not sure, Gemini, let them know. Tell them you need time, that you're in a really good spot and you don't want to sort of mess that up. Um, you know, and you may have to say, you know, I can't continue in a connection like this because it doesn't work for me. So I do feel the choice is yours, Gemini. But for many of you, this is going to make you very happy. But remember to go slow. You don't want to lose yourself in a connection. Um, give too much of your power away before you truly know if you're on the right path. Are you guys share the same vision for the future? Are you compatible? Do you want the same things? But you, your energy, Gemini, is so high vibe. I'm loving it. I'm loving being connected to those of you who are resonating with this reading because, you know, the spiritual work that you're doing or you have done, it does truly, truly have a ripple effect, okay? So this person would like to say to you, I look at your pictures for hours on end. You're still so beautiful to me. Yeah, this person definitely is watching you online, looking at selfies you might have sent them. I missed out on something so good. The next person you allow into your life is lucky. So this person is also aware that you may reject them. All right. And, and you know, that's important that they're not just, you know, they don't have this like, you know, this narcissist idea that they've decided so now it all is going to happen, right? And I have not given up on you even though it may seem like it. Gemini, but all those secrets I kept caught up with me, each and every last one of them, so they've definitely experienced some sort of karma. Um, you know, most of you I do, I really like, I love the Nine of Pentacles energy, that's Venus in Virgo, and that's, this person's in a healthy energy, and that's why they're coming back to you, because you're also in a beautiful, balanced energy. But the decision is yours, all right? And, you know, no good reader is going to recommend that you go back to somebody that was cheating on you or was abusive. So, you know, and, I, and that's not what I'm picking up here, but there was some sort of third-party interference or some sort of reason this connection couldn't grow or go the way you wanted in the first place. So take it into consideration, set strong boundaries, take your time and you decide. All right, Gemini, sending you love and light. If these messages resonate, I am going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, Gems, take care.